welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Relationship Flow. It's been a really busy week, so we are just going to squeeze out a little flow for the fans, for the family, for the ones who love us. Apologize for the sounds. It's a noisy city we live in. People like to, you know, show off their bikes or whatever. And Baruch Hashem, uh, it's also a windy city right now. And I'm not talking about Chicago, I'm talking about Holy Jerusalem. So living here is a big merit and having that power and that inner strength to have self-worth. I've been speaking about it a lot, especially with the Amun is Our Future um, podcast. We gave a whole class of, is it worth it? This is a challenge right now in the world to have the mental state that's positive and strong and emotional state that has true self-belief and self-esteem ability to be able to not get like pulled down by all the stress and bother around us and all the people's judgments and everything else to be able to keep strong and to not allow the current crisis that we're in seemingly to affect us in a negative way and especially 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 of all places in the relationship with our loved ones to be able to focus in on the people who are important to us and to give them that encouragement to have a good eye to not be overly strict or you know especially like you know with children and stuff but to be able to right now to have more understanding more empathy more um validation you know these are all things which you know i've talked about many many times but to bring it into the realm of self-worth that's the key because if a person believes in their their own self-worth then the inner strength is there to put into action this kind of approach so that life can be more fulfilling and more um, inner and less external and less affected by the winds of change that are going on right now around us so when you have a loved one in front of you hopefully you're focused in on their need not all the hundred bips and blops and all these sounds and phones and a hundred other things going on be able to tune in to that person and be there for them and you know something which is such a struggle and we've talked about this many times but having that self-worth of understanding how important your life is your time is how your focus how your actions the way you speak the way you think to go all the way back to the thought level to understand the way you think about yourself your mindset and how you're really involved in this ultimate unified plan that we talk about in our unity flow podcast we've been uh, hosting Rav Shona Morris there and we're seeing his you know question answer we had this in black please go and have other special guests there we had the opportunity you know to really come together with an understanding of that inner self-worth and that will give you the inner strength through prayer through meditation whatever it is that gives you that mindfulness for this generation that you have the inner understanding you're not pulled around by what's around you but you're focused on your purpose with all your strength with all your abilities and that gives it a tremendous power to really have positive focus relationships so being that it's been one of those really busy weeks i'm doing my best i can you know to to be there for my wife to my soulmate and uh, you know there's always these uh, moments of struggle but the key is to just remember again and again this more difficult time will pass and we are together we're one we're one soul we have the ability the skills even if sometimes it feels like impossible to really come together and to understand each other and to be there and have that self-worth in the relationship to value your relationship to give it the true value it deserves the family first the focus that uh, the priority the ability to tune in to what relationships are about to be energized to to be motivated to be determined to empower yourself on a daily level to enliven your conversations and goals and dreams and struggles together and not to allow the uh, uh, you know all the kinds of negativity and and uh, laziness or there's another word I'm trying to think of that for some reason it's not working to say it but passiveness or there's some sort of word but basically it slows you down from being being truly focused on what's important and that value valuing your relationship valuing yourself valuing the people around you that love you and your sphere of influence better me to bring change to be impactful 
to create a, a sphere of influence that's inspired and win-win and is synergized and joins together to make a better world. That you know, the Hashem member is the creator is, is is wanting us to make this world a positive place. And with that self-worth, we'll be able to see how we we are valued and that no negative voices around us should have an effect. That so we're we're able to be strong. And even if it hurts a little bit, to be real with that pain, but to move ahead and go forward and please God to see a lot of love, a lot of relationship flow, see how we can flow together and be one and have only good news to share. Have a beautiful rest of the week and a beautiful show.